Live from the Bob Levy Broadcast Center, overlooking the Tom's River, it's time to get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Be a part of the show, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. It is 607, Wednesday, May 25th. 56 degrees, getting up to 86 today. It's so perfect. I could totally go to the beach and wear a two-piece. WOBM AM 1160 and 1310 News Talk Radio. Streaming live on the Radio Pump app and WOBMAM.com. 732-505-E1160 to join the conversation. And so in case it wasn't crazy enough on Monday, talking to Chef Mike from Atlantic Bar and Grill, who like will completely energize you at 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, we are now joined uh, by, by Shorty Long, uh, the uh, local rock legends, right? I could say, is that all right? I could say it like yeah, that. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. You're okay with that? Yeah. Sometimes I like emperor. You like but, emperor? Yeah. <laughs> that's not bad. All right. Uh, well, but, but there's four of you, so I mean, we have Rick, John, Matt, and Jimmy here, uh, and they are going to, uh, you know, they obviously haven't even gone to sleep yet because you know they're they're rock stars. I mean, you know, you know, this is like. This is like the end of the night, right? Yep. Uh, right? Yeah, no, not so much. All right, anyway. Uh, so why don't you tell us uh, why don't you tell us a little bit uh, about the band? What kind of what kind of music do you play? How did it start? What's going on? Uh, me and Johnny put this thing together about 15 years ago and we do everything. Anything that makes people dance. So whether it's hip hop or you know disco, classic rock, every genre, if it's a good song and it makes people dance and move, then we do it. So, so does that mean there could be like you could go from like, uh, like our, when we when you say like hip hop, what do you mean by hip hop? Like, are you talking like, are you going like from an NWA song like into yeah, like we, into like uh, uh, Steppenwolf? Yeah. He'll yep. do straight out of Compton, and then we'll go into Billy Joel. Like, really? It's, yeah. We, it's no matter. He comes out in a in a chopper. Yeah. Like, with a, and he just comes out, and I want to blow the blow the skit, but he comes out in a chopper singing Steppenwolf, and it winds up as NWA. So. Really. Yeah, you know what? There's not as long as people are happy. If you're making the crowd happy, that's all that matters. So even if it's songs that we don't particularly, there's a couple songs you know I might not listen to on the radio, but we do it better than the radio anyway. And right, it makes people dance. <laughs> right, that's all that. and so 15 years ago, right? Now I'm trying to think back. 15 years ago, that was like I mean I'm gonna do the math in my head. That was like 2001, 2000, somewhere around there. Yeah. What was the what was the motivation? Like was it like were you were you like out at a club and you're like, God, we could do so much better than they, than these folks or what what happened? Well, Wait. actually even a little bit before that, I wanted to I wanted to be in a in a really, you know, like band like the there was bands like the Benjamins and all these bands, they all look like models and stuff. Not that I did, but I wanted to be like that the one guy who just, you know, be the wingman or whatever, you know. Yeah. And I was like, you know, <laughs> we gotta put together a band. This is gonna be great. And my friend, he he is a good looking dude. I ain't I ain't gay, but he's a good looking dude. And I was like, Man, let's <laughs> let's go and uh let's go and do Find this. Him. Next thing you know, like uh, we I go downstairs and I see Shorty and I'm like, this ain't for me. I'm gonna have to move this dude's equipment. This ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so I didn't want to do it. And then uh, he started making fun of my mom, and, uh, and <laughs> okay, and, and like it just got to be like it reminded me of high school, and I just that cracks me up. So right. just, next thing you know, I was like, I was hooked. Cool. Well, okay. Uh, excuse me for one second, Zach. Uh, I just want to make sure you got your finger on the dump button in case we need that today. Yeah, right? I'm just, yeah, we're ready got to that, go. Right? Let's not say it out loud. I don't want to. I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. But in case we have the 15 second dump, we got that right. We're all set. All right, cool. <laughs> all right, good, good. Oh, you guys heard that? I didn't. I didn't know that that was coming out over the air. All right, cool. So, uh, so when you said that you you uh, you just wanted to be the wingman. Uh, is that code for you just wanted the leftovers? Is that what you're saying? That, that, That's pretty that, much what at I that meant. point in my life. Yes, <laughs> things have changed now, though, right? Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All hour right. By hour. <laughs> okay. So, so you're so 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 you do all kinds of music. Like, what, at what venues are you guys playing at? Uh, we do like around here. We do the Beachcomber every week in Seaside. He was the first one that gave us a shot at Beachcomber. Mike, at there is awesome, and uh, we're playing there Thursday. Not to get a plug in, but this Thursday and this this Saturday night at nine thirty each night. Cool. <clears throat> yep. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go. We do uh, a lot of clubs in Long Beach Island, uh, the Surf City Hotel, the Seashell, Nardi's, uh, Joe Pops, uh, and then a lot of casinos like a Harris, uh, Golden Nugget, the Sands, Valleys, the Valleys, uh, Mohegan Sun. So it's fun, man. Wherever there's a party. Cool. Now, uh, Matt, can, can you can we talk for a second? Just sure. you and me. <laughs> All right, these guys aren't here, okay? So 15 years ago, 
Now, now I can't. I I don't. I, I am no mathematician. Okay. <laughs> But 15 years ago, I'm going to guess you were somewhere in the two to three year old range, that right? Correct. So you were not a fan at the time. <laughs> no. How do you how do you how do you defend yourself at this point? I mean, saying that you weren't a fan at the inception. Are you you still feel comfortable that you're part of the band now? I'm I'm working through it. Okay. And you play uh, and you play guitar. Yeah. And and so you're and you're and you're in high school here locally. Yep. Right. And so is that like a is that like like is it like okay so. Again, just us talking, right? <laughs> so you're in school, like they all know that you're in a band, right? Right. So that's a good look for you, right? Yeah. You do okay then. It helps. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna move along then because we know <laughs> where we're going there. Okay. And so, uh, Jimmy, you play the sax, right? Yes. And you just graduated from Rutgers. Rutgers. And what did you graduate with? Jazz performance degree. Cool. If you could move a little closer to the microphone, that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, jazz performance. So what is it that you? So what is it that you're like, if you were to fast forward like 10 years from now, I mean, obviously you'd still be with these guys, you know, full time, clearly. All right. But what would you be, what would you be doing besides that? Oh, uh, you know, just mainly being in the music industry is the goal with that degree. You know, whether it's music business, performing, you know, I love music. So cool. That's the goal. Cool. So, and, and you were, and, and you were, uh, did I get this right? You were stalking them until they gave you an opportunity. Is that the deal? It's a little strong word, but. No, no, no. no. Okay, I'm sorry. You were, uh, I don't want to make it uncomfortable or anything, but, but you know what they say, keep your enemies, uh, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So if somebody's stalking you, you might as well just add them to the band. That way you can always keep an eye on them, right? I mean, is that kind of what the theory was at this point? Yeah, he was, he was flashing us at all the shows. <laughs> we we gave him like twenty t shirts. We have a thing for taking in stalkers. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, our singer D married hers. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, that 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 that, uh, <clears throat> that sounds like possibly an off uh, an off the air discussion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did want to mention that when I look at when I looked at the uh, when I look at the group here. Uh, and you know, so the website we have to update it. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that later, right? Our but, webmaster froze us out. That's what it what, was. Is that what it is? Like they they own the domain and they're like, we, you didn't, know. we didn't pay the last bill. So uh, go to Facebook. It's better. Oh, okay. Because I'm looking and I got you know you got eight pictures on here and there's one good looking girl in the in the band and, and none of you are that that good looking girl by the way. I just no. want to say. <laughs> you, I mean, I'm not holding that against you or no, anything. It's all good. Okay, your cool. show would have to be at five thirty in the afternoon to see. Is that, that is yeah. that is that right? Okay. Uh, all right. So. So how do you like so so how do you how what's your typical set like how long is your typical set? Yeah, like uh, you got to do three forty fives to three fifty minute shows, uh, three fifty minute mini sets. So you go fifty minutes on, ten minutes off, fifty minutes on, ten minutes off, and uh, that's usually what we try to do. Sometimes the ten minutes goes longer <laughs> depending right. on, on what you got to work through, but uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's fun. Like sometimes just getting back to the stage, it, it's a lot of fun at our shows because there's just so many people. Especially this weekend's gonna be crazy, of course, you know. Right. Well, it's but a like, holiday just, weekend. Just trying to get back up and hit it to the stages, you know. It's a, a challenge, but it's fun. We love it. All right, cool. So we are up against a break, right? So when we come back, I'd like to kind of understand how you come up with like. I, I know you said that there's, you know, you you kind of run the whole gamut as far as what kind of music you do. Um, but I'd like to kind of understand. I'm sure you have some kind of plan. Uh, when you come in around how you, and I'd like to understand kind of how you put that together and how you, uh, you know, how you keep it fresh and how you keep it interesting, keep people coming back because you're catering to the same folks a lot of the time, right? Because you're, you're, you're relatively local, right? So you must be doing something that keeps it fresh and interesting. So we're going to talk about that when we come back. Shorty long, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, this will, another one of those uh, mornings that you should have no problem waking up with Jeremy Grunin. Be right back. Rush Limbaugh today at noon. More Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin coming up next. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Make a difference at the Jersey Shore. 732-505-1160. Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160, 1310 and WOBMAM.com. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. We are here with uh, Shorty Long. And uh, if you don't know who they are, then you're not just not paying attention to music at the Jersey Shore. And that's okay because you didn't have to, like, scratch your head and put your hand up and say you didn't know who they were. You could just pretend now that you know them, like, exactly who they are. And then you can go out and see them, right? Like, so where – and you guys are at the Beachcomber this weekend, right? Yeah, we're there uh, Thursday at 9.30 p.m. this Thursday. And then we're there again on Saturday at 9.30 p.m. Okay, and, uh, and uh, then we're there in the summertime. We're there every Thursday, 
uh, at 9.30 p.m. And then we're uh, also, we have some other ones like that. We have like the Seashell and LBI, which is a killer joint. If you've ever been there, it's like a little piece of uh, Hawaii or something at the Jersey Shore. And we're there every um, Sunday at 4 p.m. Uh, during the whole summer, during like July and August. And then also uh, Brigantine. I don't know if this reaches there, but it's awesome. Brigantine, yeah. New Jersey. We're there at uh, Laguna Grill every Wednesday at 6 6 p.m. just about, and that gets crazy. It's right on the beach. All, all the spots that we do, like they call that like vertical if you play every every something, you know. Right. But it's, it's neat. So we'll, we'll probably do 100-something shows between now and August. I don't know. Now, now this weekend, will that be will that be uh, Rick's birthday bash? Pretty oh. much. <laughs> so, so, so today is your birthday, right? Today is and, my birthday. And, 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 uh, and you're 39 today, for yes, real. Sir. Yep, for real. That's not like you just being vain, right? Yep. Let's get... Thank you, thank you. Right. <laughs> uh, so that's not, that's not, that's not you being vain. No, because, I'm happy to hit 40 when Yeah, I because do. you're a guy and we don't care, right? Nice. I mean, I, me? yeah. I mean, I am happy to tell everyone I'm 26. It's no problem whatsoever. <laughs> so I, I never fight it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so, so the big birthday bash this weekend, uh, looking forward to that. And then you said that you guys were, uh, you're actually heading, uh, you're heading out of state too, right? Yep. We're yep. playing, we, we are, we are, we just played three states in three days. We played Chesapeake, Maryland, and then, um, here in Atlantic city. And then we played, uh, New York city on Sunday, but we're playing Key West. If anyone wants to go, it's fun. Uh, it's, uh, October 5th to the 11th. If you got that kind of. Juice, then come Sloppy on down. Jones. I mean, who wants to be who wants to be in Florida in October? I mean, really, here in New Jersey, <laughs> it's where it's at, right? Yeah, oh, it <laughs> now, is, what but... do you what do you do with Matt though? When well, in this October won't be a problem for you, but like, does school ever get in the way? A little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm not taking it easy. Uh, last couple weeks with exams coming up. Yeah. Parents only want me to do one show a week. <laughs> do you want me to talk to Mr. Keller for you? You're gonna have. I to. could. I we could probably we could probably look that up. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's uh it. It seems unfair. I mean, look, have to understand when you have incredible talent, right, that you have to be, you, you can't be harnessed, right, and shackled <laughs> to the conventions of school, right? I mean, that's, that's not right. fair. It's not. Right? Okay, right? I mean, Jimmy, you just went through this whole thing, right? Did you did yeah. you play Did you play in a uh, in a band, like, while you were in school? Yeah, and at times it got tough, I mean. Because you had to play in the band and stalk at the same time. <laughs> yeah, and that's a lot of extra work, right? I know. When you know? do you sleep? I know. How do you do that? You're like, I got to study at some point, but I want. I got this actual band, and then I got to stalk this other band. I mean, that's exactly. that is a lot of work, and I, I totally get that. Uh, all right, cool. So I, what, I, what, I, what I wanted to ask you, and we talked about uh, before the break, was we talked about um, uh, how you kind of put together a set list. Because you said you're doing... Uh, in an average night, you're doing three 45 to 50 minute uh, sets, right? Now, you know, just like, you're not just like, hey guys, we're going to do this song next. Or do you like kind of have a preconceived idea of what you want to do? It's all in his head. Yeah, basically really? what happens is I'll, I'll look at the crowd and kind of figure out which way it's going. And then every, it's almost like playing football or something. You kind of like playing Madden football or something. I was going to say, thank you for yeah. changing it to a video game. Cause like <laughs> looking at me, I didn't play football. Let's be fair. Okay? Yeah. So that's no, kind of, like, <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. No, go ahead. But the thing is like, yeah, you just look at the, uh, I look at the boundaries of the crowd and look at what you're, what they're digging, what they're not digging and kind of just play off that. And if we get into trouble, bail out of that and get to something else, you know, like, uh, we have some originals, people like them. They sing along with them and stuff. And, uh, but we try to make it more about, especially this these week weekends here, so that everybody has a great party. That's what you want. You come down to Jersey Shore, they're gonna want to hear a lot of great music and just party so nuts. And we put on a show too, you know, like right. he comes out in various different outfits and entrances. So he'll come out in like uh, the chopper. Like I said, we have a space shuttle, we have a boat, we have uh, all motorized, and he comes out in a themed song to it, you know. The, right. So I it's a new. I've come out in a. Uh... A rickshaw with an afro on doing nice. some kung fu fighting. Well, well, Rick, I, for what it's worth, I want to thank you so much for not wearing the French maid outfit today to the <laughs> show because I don't know that I would have. I don't know that I would have been comfortable with that. I know Zach wouldn't have been totally comfortable with it. But um, all right, cool. So you're just kind of playing off how you feel yeah, the crowd is, and if and, you see pool tables and stuff, you probably don't pay too much. Uh, you know, uh, new stuff. You know, if you've seen a lot of, uh, you know. I guess more of a pub atmosphere if right. somehow it winds up like that or, you know, it's not the crowd that, you know, is the typical, I don't know if there's a typical crowd ever, but like a party, crazy crowd. You don't play like, you know, Katy Perry or something. You got to move it up to some Almond <laughs> Brothers or something like that, even though I like so, them both, you know. Okay, there goes my Katy Perry question. Hang on one second. Let, yeah. me just, let me just mark that off here. No Katy Perry question. Okay, wake <laughs> up with Jeremy Grunt and we are up against the news. So we get back, we are going to give each one of these guys a magic wand 
Just keep the thoughts clean. And uh, some pixie dust, some fairy dust. We're going to ask them what they would do to uh, make an impact in the world, right? Or, you know, or at least in the world of music, right? And I think we are in for some very interesting answers. So uh, wake up with Jeremy Grunted. Back after the news, hang out. We're here with uh, Shorty Long. Live from Town Square Towers at the heart of the Jersey Shore, wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Get up, get out, do something. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. 634, Wednesday, May 25th, 56 degrees, getting up to 86 today. Nice. WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. News Talk Radio, streaming live on the Radio Pop app and WOBMAM.com. 732-505-1160 to join the conversation. <sighs> okay. Uh, all right. And we are here. We are here with the world's number one party band. I don't know if you've actually, uh, have you actually, is that confirmed? Yes. It's yeah, on the side of asked our... everyone. On okay. The everyone that you ask <laughs> says you're the, that's great. Great job. I'll tell you what. It's on the side of our trailer. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Shorty Long. <laughs> we put it up there so it must be true. It's got to be true. It's on the internet. It says yeah. that it's true. Shorty Long and the Jersey Horns. Uh, and there's a double entendre there, I'm sure, but we'll move right along. Uh, so we are going to now, uh, this is typically, guys, I'm just telling you, typically this is the feel-good moment of the interview, right, where we hand you the magic wand and we say, what are you going to do to make an impact on the world? In this particular case, I'm a little more frightened than I typically would be when uh, handing uh, handing the ring of power over to each one of you. But, but we're going to start. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, you just uh, graduated from Rutgers. Uh, yes. Right, you play the sax, right? Uh, you know, you you stalk the band. Now you're part of the band. So now that you, I mean, you've really gotten everything you you ever could have wished for by being part of Shorty Long. He's but, the ladies' man too. Uh, he's get he's racking I, them up. I have no listen. I Oof. I have no doubt. Right? Like I'm Hopefully I'm looking at not the, listening. I'm looking at the guy. <laughs> I'm looking at the guy. He's playing the saxophone. I'm saying, yeah, he does okay. Like he doesn't have to worry too much. So, uh, so go ahead, Jimmy. What are you doing with the magic wand? Sometimes they give me a standing mic to keep me on stage. Nice. You know? <laughs> but uh, as a sax player, you know, really your job is to serenade the audience, you know, play a couple careless whisper solos, <laughs> go out there with the wireless mic, you know, make a little eye contact with the girls, <laughs> just uh, take a couple selfies with them. And, you know, the next morning is kind of frightening when you wake up and see social media, your picture with all these different girls and you're looking oh man you know right <laughs> what the heck is going on but uh my uh my job is just to serenade so so keep it's so you're happy so yeah, your magic ladies- wand would be just uh just a a a a a, a wireless mic with a battery that never dies <laughs> <laughs> yeah that'd be that'd yeah. be ideal yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and somebody else holding your selfie stick let's yeah. move along from that <laughs> statement okay <laughs> <laughs> let's see uh matt <laughs> Matt, uh, you are you have to. We have to get you off to school because uh, right. you have a seven o'clock. And you listen, so listen, we don't want to. So what what are you doing with your magic wand? Uh, bringing bringing more shows out to the Jersey Shore with us. You know, getting more out there. Cool. We, we do a lot. We're gonna have a show every night, except for Mondays probably in the yeah, summer. Yeah, it'll be our only day off in the summer. Maybe get some Mondays too, you know. <laughs> you want Mondays? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> You're out of your mind. He loves it. <laughs> cool. So, so you don't, you guys don't watch a lot of, uh, you don't watch a lot of morning talk shows. I would imagine in the summer, right? You're not uh, making it for that very often. Not me. Yeah, no, not so much. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna save the birthday boy for last. Uh, so, uh, so John, what about you? I'd imagine I would I would eliminate all hangovers. I would there would be no that, more hangovers. See now that's now you're thinking right? Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. What, can I ask? What's your drink of choice? Is it Jack and Coke? Mm. Yeah. Yep. All right. Bad. Yeah. It's a, yeah. A lot. A lot. Unlimited of, Jack. Yeah. We get bottles from people that, you know, there's it's in the contract. We didn't even realize it was still in there. Yeah. But it's in the contract when you book the band that you have to give us bottles of Jack and there's just too much to drink. Sometimes, yes. You know, it's a problem. It, it, these are problems, and I do like the I do like the elimination of the hangover. Uh, there must be somebody we could talk to about that. Uh, we need to bring you. No, listen, that's not going to eliminate it. I get a hangover from one scotch, so it's uh, it's really I'm the wrong person to ask. All right there, uh, birthday boy. Uh, what are we doing? Magic wand. I, I just keep – I hope it keeps going in the, 
the right direction since we started. It's been getting better every year. And, uh, you know, bottom line is our job is we create memories. I mean, when you come out to a show, it's you're there to, to, to that might be the one night you get out all year. So we're there to facilitate a great time and have something that you talk about forever. And that's what we try to do every show. Um, so pretty much just to keep it going, maybe something will go viral. I can't believe nothing's gone viral yet. <laughs> I mean, I, I've come out just like the Pope you, in a Pope mobile. To, you, you obviously <laughs> missed the memo. You have to wear like a Chewbacca mask. Uh, oh, yeah. With a Chewbacca voice modulator, because yeah, yeah. that's the only thing that goes viral anymore. Who yeah. knows? Uh, if, if that would be my magic wand, that that I would somehow be able to predict what the uh, the public would be interested in consuming uh, yeah. on a regular basis, because there's no way to figure that out. Uh, so I'll ask you two guys: what, what, when you when you started this 15 years ago, if you had fa- if you had guessed, would you think you'd still be doing it 15 years later? And think we'd you'd both be dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought so. All thought, right, good. Because you know, it's just punishing. It's fun as hell, but it's just the craziest thing you've ever did. You know? Yeah, it's like nuts. And people just they they're so nice to you, and they just get they want you to play everything and keep keep coming back. And then, like he said, they take off and plan their vacation around us. It's out of control. Yeah. I mean, they wouldn't believe it's it. It's humbling. It really, it really is. is. Yeah, it's like, like, oh, I flew from California down for the weekend. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? Yeah, for me, that's. That What's is wrong crazy. with you? <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy, right? Yeah. All right, guys, one more chance. Plug, uh, plug your where you're going to be, where people can catch you, because now they're now they're interested. If nothing else, if nothing else, they want to all c- come see Jimmy. So go ahead. <laughs> and we'll be uh, this uh, Thursday at the Beachcomber. Friday night we're at the Sugar House in uh, in Philadelphia, and that's a casino. And then Saturday uh, nights the Beachcomber again. Sunday is going to be Surf City Hotel uh, at night, and then Seashell actually. Or backwards, so seashell in the daytime, and then uh, Tuesday is going to be Bally's Bikini Bar on, or Beach Bar rather on uh, on the <laughs> boardwalk in Atlantic City. Already in slip, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> then Wednesday is uh, a place called Adelphia, which is down in like Deptford, and then uh, it just starts again. It just keeps lapping, but. Key West is going to be a fun one, October 5th to the 11th. Sloppy no doubt. Joe's. Yep, sloppy and if you want Joe's. to know where we're going to be, uh, shortylongrocks.com, and our schedule's up there, and we got the Facebook, Shorty Long. Right, so you could go on uh, shortylongrocks.com, you can look up Shorty Long on Facebook. or Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, Twitter, Instagram, you could find them if you search them. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We had a lot of fun. Thank you, brother. And uh, thank you. thanks for the shirts, and I need to come out and see you guys, because it sounds like a party, and uh, I don't like missing parties. So, wake up with Jeremy Grudden. We'll be back after this. Thanks, guys. Thank you, man. Awesome.